if you are like me, you're probably experiencing some fun summer heat. Now, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love summer. It's my favorite season. 30 degrees all day, every day is the best. But if you want to wrap and you don't want to do just a square scarf tied on your head, I want to do, take time to show you guys a wrap that totally works with a shaper, without a shaper. All you need is either one or two or three or however many you can bear thin scarves. And you can do some really fun twists. You can see here, I've twisted them together. I'll show you guys how to twist them separately. Uh, I'll show you how to leave your ends down or how to twist your ends. And what it's gonna let you do is create a, a thin, light, fun summer wrap that you can actually wear outside in this heat, but still feel like you've dressed up a little and not like you're just wearing your same old square tied bandana over and over again like I've been doing lately. So if you are interested and wanna learn how to get twisty, then uh, keep watching and let's get wrapping. This wrap can totally be done with one scarf, two scarves, three scarves, five scarves, ain't no thing. <laughs> it's all the exact same technique. You just layer one on top of the other. So I'm gonna show you guys this with uh, two light scarves because this is my sort of summer fun light wrap where you want a, you know, you wanna do something fun or a little bit more elaborate, but it's also summer and it's hot, so you don't want a lot of sort of bulk and stuff going on. So all you're gonna need is one scarf, two scarves, scarves that are thin, it doesn't matter. You're gonna do fold the scarf to fit your head, and then you're gonna tie one end short and one end long. So like, you're gonna tie one end like pretty, like long like so when I mean short I mean like vaguely asymmetrical because like the short end becomes your tail so depending on how long you want your tail is you know how long you're gonna do that so this one I will say uh, I do like to tie this particular wrap uh, and I like to tie it in such a way that the short tail comes out the bottom so you're gonna gather you're gonna pick the short tail up through the knot, so this might be opposite from how you tie, and then tighten like that. And that means the short tail is gonna come out the bottom, and it just looks a heck of a lot neater than if it's sort of sticking out the top. So I just tie this straight on my head, but you'll notice that when I often do this in the fan group, I like to um, tie them on an angle or crisscross them. That's really fun too. They're literally endless things you can do. And then you're gonna take your second scarf and you're gonna do the exact same thing. So like I said, you could do this with three scarves, four scarves, two scarves, totally doesn't matter. All I want you to do is try to make sure that your ends, your shorter ends are around the same length. That's literally it. So when I say easy guys, I do mean easy with this one. So then we're gonna pull this down and here's a fun trick if you don't want a lot of uh, bulk or you want this knot to not bother you pull your short end under so you're kind of tying this on um, almost a diagonal you're not tying it on top you're not tying it under you're tying it through the knot so it's called stacking your knot and you're gonna do the exact same thing you're gonna make sure the short tail is brought up and through and then pull down so now both of these tails come out the bottom of the knot and what's happened is I've stacked the knots on top of each other rather or like diagonally on top of each other rather than putting one on the bottom and one on top because I find when I do one on the bottom and one on top I will inevitably get a headache. So now we've got these beautiful two tails that are just hanging out. You can make them as short or as long as you want, like I said, doesn't matter. And now here's where the fun comes in. So. You can do a bunch of different things here. You can twist these together. You can twist them independently. You can, you know, basically do whatever you want and do just sort of make it yours and make it fun. So I'll show you how to do that. So a pro tip, uh, when you've got the scarf with the ends lying in like this, twist the ends inwards and it's less messy. If you're like me and you have a big head, don't twist this too tight because <laughs> then you're not gonna get it around. So you're just gonna twist and you're gonna bring it up and over and tuck. 
See, now the nice thing about leaving one end sort of long and one end sort of short is, again, if you're like me and you have a bigger head, that gives you a lot of twists to work with. I find sometimes if you don't give yourself like at least an arm's length of fabric, it's hard to kind of tuck and or twist. And sometimes you get really frustrated because you feel like you can't tuck it in and yeah. So same thing, uh, fold the ends in, twist inside, twist, 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 not too tight like so and then you can just bring it up and same thing wrap and tuck in and there you go we have a super fun sort of twisted style obviously you can be way more careful with the fringes if you're going to go out you can sort of make sure that they're all tucked in you can add a headband to this you can make this as fancy or as simple as you want but what happens is you end up with like really cute twists. These tails will come at the bottom, but it'll look a lot neater because of how you tied your knots. As you can see, it, you know, it doesn't look messy. You can get it looking really neat. You can do this with three or four scarves because you can just keep stacking them. Obviously thin scarves, don't do this with thick scarves. <laughs> and then another fun thing you can do uh, is twist the scarves together. So the way to do a really, really, really um, crisp twist is to twist them uh, in one direction and then twist them together in that opposite direction. So I'll show you what I mean. So this one I'm going to twist clockwise. And same thing, I'm not going to twist it too um, aggressively. And then I'm going to twist this one clockwise as well. Again, not too aggressively. Be kind to your twists, guys. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist them together counterclockwise. And then what happens when you do that is it helps it keep its twist then you lose less of your um, less of your twist because when you're twisting them not like this what you'll find happens is the moment you let it go your twist kind of untwists and gets really big and balloons out and if you want a nice crisp twist that's a bit of a tongue tie well a nice crisp twist that stays when you do it this way, see, even when I'm not holding any pressure, it keeps a nice, clean, tight twist. So it's really important, twist them in one direction and then twist them together in the opposite direction. It can be counterclockwise one way, clockwise the other way, it really doesn't matter. And then what you're gonna do is bring that up like so, bring it all the way around, and then you can tuck in, you can tuck under into the knot. Um, you can also, if you really want, Pull it through if you want fringe on the one side. But I do personally like to tuck just in. And at first when you bring it up, you feel like there's no way you're going to be able to tuck all the fringes. But honestly guys, if you're careful and you take your time, I promise you're going to be able to. Just try not to like let yourself get super frustrated with it. And just sort of slowly pull the sort of fringes in under the twist. And you will get it clean. I promise. Just take your time. So you can see here, they're all, all done. So when they're twisted together, it's like a whole separate fun look. Um, and it really is like wearing a crown. And you still have these fun tails that are down, but it's really sort of lightweight, especially for the summer. So uh, you can, if you want, um, even make it more twisty and do this and twist these two together as your tail that are down. Or you can make it even length. So make, you know, when you're tying them on your head, make both sides even and then you can uh, do two twists up like this. It's a really basic um, foundational uh, technique, I suppose. So you can sort of do it any way that makes sense or any way that's fun for you. I sometimes like to get crazy and put like six scarves on my head and do all the twists because twists are sometimes a little less intense than braids. So you see here, so again, I've got a nice clean twist. What I would do is put a little elastic on there and that's also another cool way to have tails in the summer that allows you to have tails down but not on the back of your neck it feels less heavy uh, if you put a little hair elastic here it's going to stay twisted nice and tight and then you've kind of got this theme of twist and twist going you can literally do this with any scarf so long as it's thin and long enough you can totally make this work uh, if it's a little thicker or it has a weird texture it might be hard i have never attempted this with a slippery scarf so i can't really say how well that would work but I feel like you guys are skilled and you could do it. <laughs> 
So I hope you enjoyed this fun little uh, double twist, really simple, uh, sort of fancy uh, summer wrap. So you can do this with one scarf, two scarves, any way you want and really make this your own and dress it up or dress it down. And it's a way to feel like you're still having a little bit of fun in all this heat with all this summer. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did hit like, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe before you leave uh, to see more awesome videos, wraps, tutorials, makeup, and fun content. And I hope everyone has a awesome day wherever you are. Thanks so much for watching. We'll leave. Bye.